Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna this. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the one company, Great Pool. This is a few. This is one of a few of the premium display grade Pokeballs. So without further to be ado, let's get it. So on the front of the box, you have the Great Ball. On the left side, you have the display presentation case. And on the right side, you have the display presentation case with the Great Ball inside. On the back. Display grade electronic replica, highly accurate metal shell with fine detail, premium painted finish, advanced touch and proximity sensing technology, gorgeous lift to display presentation case with touch sensing illumination, individually numbered and batteries included. Alright, so let's crack this box open guys, there's a Pokemon logo on the top of the box. If I can get this thing open without damaging it. Bloody hell, why is this one so tight? Oh my, there we go. And the first thing you're greeted with is instruction manual. We don't need that. Put that aside. Some styrofoam. And then we have your great ball and a display presentation case. So let's start with the display presentation case. Wrap in some plastic. So, and this is the display presentation case. So on the front of the case, you have the plaque. There you go. And there's the top. When you open it, like so. There you go, and then to get the light to actually work, you need to pull this tab. Here is your individually numbered number, I guess. And then when you open it, the lights glow like so. And then if you touch the pack, it changes colors. There's red, there's green, there's yellow, blue, purple. Blue, light blue, cyan, cyan, and then back to white. There you go. And that's your display presentation case. Moving on to the great ball. Oh, this great ball is nice. This great ball is really nice. There you go, this is for the light, so if you pull this, it activates the batteries, so you can get the lights. Oh my days, what I like about this one is this raised part. Oh, that is nice, the raised part on the great ball. It's really nice, really nice. And then if you hold the button for two seconds, it should light up. Don't know how that's going to show up on camera too well, if it does. And it's touch, set, touch proximity based, so... Depending on how you hold it, sometimes it will light, light up right or left, but in this case, you, can, you might just be able to see on the camera where it's lighting up a little bit and then it glows a bit more. There you go. And then, for some reason, this one's touch, touch sensitive proximity thing is a bit iffy, look, depending on where you hold it. And then if you press the button, it should change color based on whether you caught the Pokemon or not. So red being a non-catch and green being a catch. So let's see. Alright. There's the red one. That's if you don't catch the Pokemon. Press it again. There's a red again. There's another red. I'm probably gonna skip until we get a green because this is what happened last time with the hill ball. There we go, there's our green. Is it coming up on camera? There you go. Hopefully you guys saw that. Alright guys, so let me for the next part, you're gonna need a screwdriver for the ring that you get in a display case. So for this part you're gonna need a screwdriver. Once 
one, two, one, screwed it, should pop off like so. Pull that out, there's your batteries, and then here's your ring. You use your screwdriver to pop up the ring. And there you have it, there's the ring. So you can use the ring to display the Pokeball, Great Ball, in a few different ways. So if you want to display it without the presentation case, you can do it like so. There you go. And then I can show you the proximity based lighting from here. Yep. There you go. And then you can also display it on the top of the Pokeball like so. I'll probably show you better view in the glam shots or the close-up b-roll there you go and then this is how you display it in the presentation case itself The display presentation case itself is made of plastic and to be honest it's actually quite flimsy like it feels not that great i think i've said this in probably all of my unboxings with these display grade pokeballs with the presentation cases they could have made them a little bit better for the price that you pay for these which is 99.99 in the uk but again if they made the display presentation case any better than it is it probably would have cost even more so it is what it is but yep that's the display presentation case the pokeball great ball itself is made quality this thing is hefty really hefty you probably don't want to go and throw it because either you're going to hurt someone or you're going to break something that's actually how hefty it is it's premium it's really a premium grade feel as well one company have made a few of these the first one being a pokeball the second one being a limited dish limited edition master ball which was limited to 5000 and only in the pokemon center us i believe and then they made an ultra ball a premier ball a dust ball and then a hill ball and this great ball was the third one after the master ball if i didn't already mention that and now the Pokemon Center UK has released a special edition Master Ball. If you would like to see a, an unboxing of that one guys, like this video, subscribe, turn notifications on so when I upload that, you'll get to see it. As of now, I have all of the premium display grade Pokeballs that the one company I've made apart from that limited edition Master Ball which I plan to pick up but market price is a bit high up there so I don't know when I plan to pick that up but that is in the plans to pick up. But yeah, that is the one company, premium display grade, great ball guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you stuck with to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.